Okay, in a previous video, we installed the Swift toolchain on Ubuntu. I'm running the ARM64 version here of 20.04. This time around, we're gonna install Vapor so we can do some server-side Swifting. Let's go ahead and make sure that our Swift version is running first of all, and that everything's installed and is okay. So I'm just gonna do Swift dash dash version. Yep, we've got a working version of Swift on this machine, fantastic. Next thing I need to do is, I'm actually gonna to change to my downloads folder here. And you can see there's my Swift 5.5 development version. It's actually 5.6 at this point. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clone the Vapor repo. So we're gonna say git. I, I'm not even sure that I've actually got git on here. So I'm gonna say sudo uh, apt get install git, just in case it isn't on here. Put in my developer password. Yeah, there you go. This is a, a new setup of Ubuntu I've got here. All right, there we go. So now let's let's just get all of this out of the way. Okay, we're gonna clone the repo. Git clone, and it's HTTPS github.com forward slash vapor forward slash toolbox dot git. It's gonna pull down the repo for us. All right, let's do a listing here. Yep, there's the toolbox. We'll go inside the toolbox there and should have all the files that we need. Yep, looks like we got everything. Now what I'm gonna do is we need to go ahead and build this. So I'm gonna say, uh, we need to, let's do a git branch first of all. I think the current master branch is the one we need or main branch, uh, but let's just go ahead and check. Yeah, we're gonna go with the main one. We want Vapor 4, we don't want Vapor 3. Okay, with all that, I'm just gonna say make install. Let it run its commands here. Okay, now we should have everything built and ready to run. So let's check it out. Let's see if we can get Vapor to run here. So Vapor dash dash help. There you go, we've got the Vapor toolbox, fantastic. I'm just gonna double check everything here. I'm gonna close this terminal. I always like to open up a fresh terminal just to make sure. So let's just run it again. Vapor dash dash help, fantastic. There you go, we've got Vapor installed ready to go with our Swift toolchain to start building some websites with server-side Swift. Hope this has been helpful. It's a very straightforward setup process here, and I will see you in the next video. Go to compileswift.com if you want to ask questions or leave comments below, and I will do my best to help you out with any problems.